My dear friends, now we resume with day 21 on page 107. Ve'ikar ha'anova, and what is true humility? She'yikana la'osam she'him tachtov, for a person to be humble to those who are beneath him. Kigon la'avodov, to his workers, Livneveso, to those of his household, of La'osam Aniim, Shehem Isparnasim and enemy meno, and even those poor people that he supports, and he gives them charity. Be humble before them. Vihu Eno Tsarakli Lohem, even though he doesn't need them, Ve Eno Yorimehem, he does not doesn't fear them. Vanichnali Yesomim, one who is humbled before Orphans, li yisomim, la amonos, la gerim, in front of widows, in front of converts, and bears their trials and burdens. Visovel torchav masom, vashomea cherposo, veeno meshiv. And like we mentioned yesterday, someone who hears his embarrassment and doesn't respond. Someone laughs at you in public and you don't respond. Machmas goda on vresanusa, because he's humble. Zo anova yishorimo, this is a very proper way to be humble. So let's just explain what this means. A person needs to realize, what does it mean that I'm going to be humble in front of the person that I'm giving charity to? So the person who comes to ask for charity is already humbled. I need to ask someone else for help. But the person who gives can be humble. How? Thank you for giving me the mitzvah. It's not that I'm I'm doing you a favor. You're doing me a favor. You're doing me a favor, testing me on how I'm going to be in my act of kindness, in my act of charity. That's someone who really understands that the test for me, and perhaps I'm not good enough, so I have to be even more humble to see that all of my success, it's not about me, I'm so successful. No, 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 no. It's all a test so that I, I can be tested by the Almighty in how I distribute the charity. Yesh Odanova Tovama, there's another form of very good humility or humbleness. One who is humble in front of his rabbis, in front of the righteous scholars, and those who are holier. He thinks to himself, These are the true servants of Hashem. And those who serve Hashem properly and love Hashem properly, he thinks to himself, he says, Me, I'm nothing compared to them. Look at their proper ways. Look at their righteousness. Me, I'm nothing. They're real. I'm fake. Gamzo Anavatova Sheyachshov. This is also a proper uh, uh, humility. I will humble, my, humble myself before those who are uh, wise. I will humble myself in front of scholars. Why? So that they bring me close, so that they teach me, so that they reprimand me, and so they guide me Hashem in the ways of Hashem. Um, I, I ask my rabbi every year before Shoshani Yom Kippur, I say, okay, listen, we talk every week. You know what's going on in my life. You know what I do. You know, my, I, he hears my questions every week. I say to him, Rebbe, before Shoshana, if you're not going to beat me up, who will? Tell me something. Tell me something that I need to correct, something that I'm overlooking, something reprimand me. Give me some constructive criticism. And sometimes he was very, very direct and told me things that were painful, but again, important for me to hear. He's my rabbi. He's got to teach me. He's got to reprimand me. He's got to give me that constructive criticism. But on the other end, there were times that he said, I think that the things you're doing are, are, are right on mark, and this is what Hashem wants you to be doing. And and uh, you should be very proud. Of course, and not proud. You feel it, that Hashem is giving me responsibilities, every person responsibilities, we need to do something with those responsibilities. There's another uh, humility that is very, very positive. Sasum. 
it, for a person to be humble in front of his students, to accept their questions, and to try to resolve things that have not been clear, clearly explained. Legodol lefi gadol, lekatan lefi katno, to a, someone who's great according to their greatness, and a, someone who's who is simple according to their simpleness. Velo yomar ech oshiv al zeh They're not smart enough. They don't. They don't understand my uh, my level of uh, sophistication. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with them. Or like the uppity people in universities. You think about those professors who think that they're so intelligent, they're so smart. There's the the hubris that they have is just incredible. And they shall repeat it and repeat it and repeat it to their students till they understand. A person shouldn't say, oh, I'm going to repeat it again till he understands it. Come on, you don't understand it. Goodbye. Does he have a heart of stone? But rather a proper, humble teacher should repeat it again and again and again. Think of new ways to explain the concept so that the student can understand it appropriately. We know the great reward that Rav Preda, one of the great Tanaic sages, Shechazar letalmid echod arba meos pamim. He reviewed the teaching to his student over 400 times. And there's another type of humility. Imagine that repeating your teaching over 400 times to a student. After how many times would we lose our patience? Well, guess what? If a person is arrogant, then indeed they would get frustrated. But if a person is truly humble like Rev Prada was and recognizes, guess what? I was given the opportunity to teach. I shall teach in such a case. That's my job. My job is to teach it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it as many times as, as necessary. But oh dear, Shana Bagdolan, there's another form of outstanding humility. And uh, a form, another great form of humility is teaching the young and to ask them what one does not know. What do you not understand? What do you, what do you still need to learn? What do I need to explain to you that you haven't understood? I'm going to ask the young student to tell me what I need to teach. Who am I? I'm going to take advice from him. You know, what do we call first year college students? Freshies. Who takes a word from freshies? Who, who respects them? A righteous scholar will. And in fact, if you look at the teachings, uh, the Musa teachings that we've talked about many, many times. Our sages tell us, if you want to learn properly, go to the children and see their purity. Go to the children. Ask them for criticism because children will say things straight. It's before they get a, a, a chance by their parents to uh, divert their feelings. So, for example, a child is with his family uh, as guests in someone else's home. And they say, oh, how did you like that uh, pastry? And the child says, oh, it was disgusting, right? They, they say they say they're usually very straightforward and honest. What does the mother say? That's not nice. That's not nice. So what are you telling me to say? You're telling me to say it was delicious or it was great. Or if we're skillful, we'll teach our child to say, I'm sure it's delicious. It's just not my taste, right? That's different. But it's very challenging because if we say it the wrong way, what we're basically telling the child is just lie, not to hurt somebody else's feelings. There are other ways to teach that to a child, other ways to teach them to say the truth, but in a way that's pleasant, in a way that's not going to be harmful. But to learn from children is a very, very humbling thing and something we need to uh, pay attention to. Allahu katan me many. He's smaller than me. He's younger than me. What does he know? He's less experienced than me. I'm the veteran in the company. It's the, the, the freshie in the company. That I've learned from all of my students. From all my teachers, I became wise. But from my students, even wiser. The O Damrun, our sages said, 
Adam or Abisenu, Meod Mod Havish Falrucha, a person should be very, very humble of spirit. Bifne call Adam in front of every person, in front of everyone. Lo Bifne Agdolum Levad, not only big people, holy people, great people alone. Tsarukh Dios Falrach, Elo Aflufnek Tanim, even before those who are smaller than you. The Aholuch Bederuch Zem is Zakis Rabbim, one who goes in this path of humility brings merit to society. Kihu no sechein be'ene korov, because then people really like, people like someone who's humble, someone who's simple. V'chol ma'asov v'sidre inyonov mikubalim lahem, and everything that they say and everything that they do, such a humble person will be accepted by everyone. V'tamad heim yishabchen oso, and they'll always praise him. V'metoch kachem chom dim lasos kamo. And then they say, you know what, I want to be like that guy. Look at him, he's always nice to everyone, he's always smiling to everyone. He's always respectful to even those who are younger than him and smaller than him. V'tamad heim yishabchen oso, v'metoch kachem chom dim lasos kamo. And every person should bless their child that they be humble and patient like that guy, that our neighbor who's so humble and patient. And through doing such a thing, you're doing a Kiddush Hashem, you're sanctifying God's name because people say, wow, look at this godly individual he's so humble this is god a god-fearing person but one who's arrogant a person who's arrogant is desecrating the name of hashem and is causing others to sin because they're going to say oh what a disgusting human being he's so arrogant nobody wants to be close to definitely nobody's going to bless their child to be like him and someone who's arrogant is like a, 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 a you know, if you see those, those carcasses of animals hanging in the marketplace, they're selling, you know, lamb or something like that. That's, that's someone who's arrogant is, is, is something that's putrid like that. And people just put their hand there to, to push it out of the way. Someone who's arrogant is pushing people away from Torah. He's pushing people away from the study of Torah. Because they say, What benefit is there in the Torah if this is the arrogance that comes out of it? If this is the result? When they have such negative traits, when we talk kach porshim heim in a Torah, if we aren't good examples, representatives of the Torah, then people will say, "I want nothing to do with the Torah." If this is what it produce produces, ubaze heim mechal es hashem is baruch, and in this way they are being a, a, they're they're disgracing the name of Hashem, and this concludes day number twenty one.